Kartikeya IAST, Kartikeya, also known as Murugan, Skanda, Kamara, and Subramanya, is the Hindu god of war. He is the son of Parvati and Shiva, brother of Ganesha, and a god whose life story has many versions in Hinduism. An important deity around South Asia since ancient times, Kartikeya is particularly popular and predominantly worshipped in South India, Sri Lanka, Singapore, and Malaysia as Murugan. Kartikeya is an ancient god, traceable to the Vedic era. Archaeological evidence from 1st century CE and earlier, where he is found with Hindu god Agni, fire, suggests that he was a significant deity in early Hinduism. He is found in many medieval temples all over India, such as at the Ellora Caves and Elephanta Caves. The iconography of Kartikeya varies significantly. He is typically represented as an ever youthful man, riding or near a peacock, dressed with weapons sometimes near a rooster. Most icons show him with one head, but some show him with six heads reflecting the legend surrounding his birth where six mothers symbolizing the six stars of Pleiades cluster who took care of newly born baby Kartikeya. He grows up quickly into a philosopher warrior, destroys evil in the form of demon Taraka, teaches the pursuit of ethical life and the theology of Shaiva Siddhanta. He has inspired many poet saints, such as Aringiranatha. Kartikeya is found as a primary deity in temples wherever communities of the Tamil people live worldwide, particularly in Tamil Nadu state of India, Sri Lanka, Mauritius, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, South Africa, and Reunion. Three of the six richest and busiest temples in Tamil Nadu are dedicated to him. The Kataragama temple dedicated to him in Sri Lanka attracts Tamils, Sinhalese people and the Veda people. He is also found in other parts of India, sometimes as Skanda, but in a secondary role along with Ganesha, Parvati and Shiva. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> and nomenclature Kartikeya is known by numerous names in ancient and medieval texts of the Indian culture. Most common among these are Murugan, Kamara, Skanda, and Subramanya. Others include Aryan, Chayan, Sental, Velan, Swaminatha, ruler of the gods, from Natha king, Saravanabhava, born amongst the reeds, Aramagam or Sanmukha, six-faced, Dandapani. Wielder of the mace, from Pani Hand, Gua, Cave, Secret, or Guruguha, Cave Teacher, Kadhervalan, Kandan, Vishaka, and Mahasena. In ancient coins where the inscription has survived along with his images, his names appear as Kamara, Brahmenya, or Brahmenya Deva. On some ancient Indo Scythian coins, his names appear in Greek script as Skanda, Kamara, and Vishaka. In ancient statues, he appears as Mahasena, Skanda, and Vishaka. Skanda is derived from Skanda, which means leaper or attacker. In Kalidasa's epic poem Kamarasambhava, the birth of the war god, fifth century CE, as in most versions of the story, the gods wished for Skanda to be born in order to destroy the demon Taraka, who had been granted a boon that he could be killed only by a son of Shiva. They sent Parvati to induce Shiva to marry her. Shiva, however, was lost in meditation and was not attracted to Parvati until he was struck by an arrow from the bow of Karma, the god of love, whom he immediately burned to ashes. After many years of abstinence, Shiva's seed was so strong that the gods, fearing the result, sent Agni, the god of fire, to interrupt Shiva's amorous play with Parvati. Agni received the seed and dropped it into the Ganges, where Skanda was born. Additionally N. Gopala Palai postulated that Skanda derives from Alexander the Great, Kartikeya means, of the Criticus. This epithet is also linked to his birth. After he appears on the banks of the river Ganges, he is seen by the six of the seven brightest stars cluster in the night sky called Criticus in Hindu texts called Pleiades in Greek texts. These six mothers all want to take care of him and nurse baby Kartikeya. 
Kartikeya ends the argument by growing five more heads to have a total of six heads so he can look at all six mothers, and let them each nurse one. <laughs> Textual references Ancient There are ancient references which can be interpreted to be Kartikeya in the Vedic texts, in the works of Panini tilde 500 BCE, in the Mahabhasya of Patanjali and in Kautilya's Arthashastra. For example, the term Kamara appears in hymn 5, 2 of the Rig Veda. The Kamara of verse 5.2.1 can be interpreted as skanda, or just any boy. However, the rest of the verses depict the boy as bright colored, hurling weapons and other motifs that later have been associated with skanda. The difficulty with interpreting these to be skanda is that Indra, Agni, and Rudra are also depicted in similar terms and as warriors. The skanda-like motifs found in Rig Veda are found in other Vedic texts, such as section 6.1-3 of the Shatapatha Brahmana. In these, the mythology is very different for Kamara, as Agni is described to be the Kamara whose mother is Usha's goddess Dawn and whose father is Purusha. The section 10.1 of the Taittiriya Aranyaka mentions Sanmukha six -faced one, while the Baudhyana Dharmasutra mentions a householder's rite of passage that involves prayers to Skanda with his brother Ganapati Ganesha together. The chapter 7 of the Chandogya Upanishad approximately 800 to 600 BCE equates Sanat Kamara eternal son and Skanda as he teaches sage Narada to discover his own atman soul self as a means to the ultimate knowledge true peace and liberation according to Fred Clothy the evidence suggests that Kartikeya mythology had become widespread sometime around 200 BCE or after in North India the first clear evidence of Kartikeya's importance emerges in the Hindu epics such as the Ramayana and the Mahabharata where his story is recited. In addition to textual evidence, his importance is affirmed by the archaeological, the epigraphical and the numismatic evidence of this period. For example, he is found in numismatic evidence linked to the Yaudhayas, a confederation of warriors in North India who are mentioned by ancient Panini. They ruled an area consisting of modern era Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh extending into Garhwal region, Uttarakhand. They struck coins bearing the image of Skanda, and these coins are dated to be from before Kushan Empire era started. During the Kushan dynasty era, that included much of northwest Indian subcontinent, more coins featuring Kartikeya were minted. He is also found on ancient Indo-Scythian coins, where his various names are minted in Greek script. Kartikeya was revered in major cultural centers of ancient India. For example, he was a major god for the Ikshvakas, an Andhra dynasty, as well as for the Gupta Empire. In South India, eight of the early Pallava dynasty rulers 300 to 550 CE were named after Skanda or Kamara, suggesting the significance of Kartikeya by then. Kalidasa's epic poem The Kamara Sambhava features Kartikeya. In Tamil literature The Tolkapiyam, one of the most ancient texts of the Tamil literature, mentions Sian, the Red One, who is identified with Murugan, whose name is literally Murukan, the youth. The other gods referred to in the Tolkapiyam are Mayan, the Dark One, identified with Vishnu, Ventan, the Sovereign, identified with Indra, and Koravai, the Victorious. Identified with Kali and Varunan, the sea god. Extant Sangam literature works, dated between the 3rd century BCE and the 5th century CE, glorified Murugan, the red god seated on the blue peacock, who is ever young and resplendent, as 
the favored god of the Tamils. Koravai is often identified as the mother of Murugan. In the Tirumurukatruupattai, he is called Muruku and described as a god of beauty and youth, with phrases such as, His body glows like the sun rising from the emerald sea. It describes him with six faces each with a function, twelve arms, his victory over evil, and the temples dedicated to him in the hilly regions. Topic: Puranas. Kartikeya is mentioned in Shaiva Puranas. Of these, the Skanda Purana is the largest Mahapurana, a genre of 18 Hindu religious texts. The text contains over 81,000 verses and is part of Shaivite literature, titled after Skanda, a son of Shiva and Parvati, who is also known as Kartikeya and Murugan. While the text is named after Skanda, he does not feature either more or less prominently in this text than in other Shiva-related Puranas. The text has been an important historical record and influence on the Hindu traditions related to war god Skanda. The earliest text titled Skanda Purana likely existed by the 6th century CE, but the Skanda Purana that has survived into the modern era exists in many versions. Topic: Buddhism and Jainism. According to Richard Gombrich, Skanda has been an important deity in Theravada Buddhism pantheon in countries such as Sri Lanka and Thailand. The Nikaya Samgraha describes Skanda Kamara as a guardian deity of the land, along with Upalvan, Vishnu, Saman, and Vibhishana. Similarly, the 16th century Siamese text Jinnakalamali mentions him as a guardian god. There are Buddhist Sinhala shrines such as at Kataragama dedicated to Skanda which have historically been officiated by Hindu priests, which attracted Buddhist devotees and enjoyed royal support. Since the 1950s, states Brian Morris, the Kataragama Shrine of Skanda has attracted over half a million devotional pilgrims every year, most being Buddhists. In Chinese Buddhism, Skanda has been portrayed as Wituo, a young heavenly general, the guardian deity of local monasteries and the protector of Buddhist Dharma. According to Henrik Sorensen, this representation became common after the Tang period, and became well established in the late Song period. Skanda was also adopted by Korean Buddhism, and he appears in its woodblock prints and paintings. According to Asko Parpola, the Jain deity Nagamsa, who is also referred to as Hari Nagamsan, is depicted in early Jain texts as riding the peacock and as the leader of the divine army, both symbols of Kartikeya. Topic Iconography Ancient coins of the Yaudhayas, dated to 1st and 2nd century CE, show Kartikeya as a warrior with either one or six heads. Cushion coins show him with one head. In general, single head is far more common regardless of which dynasty minted them. The earliest statues discovered in Punjab and Kashmir show him with either one or six heads. The oldest sculptures such as those found in Mathura show him with one head, while six-head iconography is dated to post-Gupta Empire era. All Kushan Empire era artwork show him with one head, even though there are Kushan deities such as a goddess who is shown with multiple heads. The Kushan Empire era statues of Kartikeya, dated to 1st and 2nd century CE, have been found at various sites in the Indian subcontinent, particularly at Mathura and Gandhara. They show him as a warrior dressed in dhoti sheet wrapped at waist, covering the legs, armor like a warrior, spear in his right hand and a bird rooster in his left. There is some difference between his ancient iconography in Mathura and Gandhara artwork. The Gandhara arts show him in more a Scythian dress, likely reflecting the local dress culture prevalent in those times. Further, it is in the oldest Gandharan statues where he is shown with a bird that looks like a chicken or cock. 
According to Richard Mann, the bird may symbolize Kartikeya's agility and maneuverability as a warrior god, and may be a Parthian influence. His iconography symbolizes his attributes as a hunter, warrior, and philosopher. Kartikeya iconography shows him as a youthful god, dressed as a warrior, carrying the weapon called Vel. It is a divine spear, often called Sakti. He is sometimes depicted with many weapons including, a sword, a javelin, a mace, a discus and a bow although more usually he is depicted wielding the sakti or spear. His vahana vehicle, mount, is a peacock. He has either one head or six, depending on the region or artist. <laughs> Legends. The epic era literature of ancient India recite numerous legends of Kartikeya, often with his other names such as Skanda. For example, the Vanapava of the Mahabharata dedicates chapters 223 to 232 to the legends of Skanda, but depicts him as the son of Agni and Svaha. Similarly, Valmiki's Ramayana dedicates chapters 36 and 37 to Skanda, but describes him as the child of god Agni and goddess Ganges. The legends of Kartikeya vary significantly, sometimes within the same text. For example, while the Vanapava of the Mahabharata describes Skanda as the son of Agni, the Shalya Pava and the Anushasana Pava of the same text present Skanda's legend as the son of Maheshvara Shiva and Parvati. In Vanapava, the circumstances behind Kartikeya's birth legend do not involve Shiva and Parvati. Rather it is deity Agni who goes to a hermitage of seven married rishis sages and meets their seven wives. He is sexually attracted to all seven, but none reciprocate. Svaha is present there and she is attracted to Agni, but Agni is not. According to the legend, Svaha takes the form of six of the wives, one by one, and sleeps with Agni. She does not take the form of Arundhati, Vasistha's wife, because of Arundhati's extraordinary virtuous powers. Svaha deposits the semen of Agni into the reeds of River Ganges, where it develops and then is born as six-headed Skanda. A totally different legend in the later books of the Mahabharata make Shiva and Parvati as the parents. They were making love, but they are disturbed, and Shiva inadvertently spills his semen on the ground. Shiva's semen incubates in river Ganges, preserved by the heat of god Agni, and this fetus is born as baby Kartikeya on the banks of Ganges. Some legends state that he was the elder son of Shiva, others make him the younger brother of Ganesha. This is implied by another legend connected to his birth. Devas have been beaten up by Asuras led by Taraka, because Taraka had a boon from ascetic celibate yogi Shiva that only Shiva's son can kill him. Devas learn about this boon, and plan how to get Shiva into a relationship. So they bring Parvati into the picture, have her seduce Yogi Shiva, and wed Parvati so that Skanda can be born to kill Taraka. According to Raman Varadara, Murugan or Kartikeya was originally a Tamil deity, who was adopted by North Indians. He was the god of war in the Dravidian legends, and became so elsewhere in the Indian subcontinent too. In contrast, G. S. Gurye states that according to the archaeological and epigraphical evidence, the contemporary Murugan, Subramanya and Kartikeya is a composite of two influences, one from south and one from north in the form of Skanda and Mahasena. He as the warrior philosopher god was the patron deity for many ancient northern and western Hindu kingdoms, and of the Gupta Empire, according to Gurye. After the 7th century, Skanda's importance diminished while his brother Ganesha's importance rose in the west and north, while in the south the legends of Murugan continued to grow. According to Norman Cutler, Kartikeya Murugan Skanda of South and North India coalesced over time, but some aspects of the South Indian iconography and mythology for Murugan have remained unique to Tamil Nadu. Kartikeya's legends vary by region. 
for example, in the northern and western Indian traditions Kartikeya or Skanda is the perpetual celibate bachelor who never marries, but in the Tamil legends he has two consorts, Vali and Devasena. Many of the major events in Murugan's life take place during his youth, and legends surrounding his birth are popular in Tamil Nadu. This has encouraged the worship of Murugan as a child god, very similar to the worship of the child Krishna in North India. Kartikeya's youth, beauty and bravery was much celebrated in Sanskrit works like the Kathasaritsagara. Kalidasa made the birth of Kamara the subject of a lyrical epic, the Kamara Sambhava. Theology There is extensive Hindu symbolism and theology associated with Kartikeya. Regardless of the variance among the legends, his birth is in difficult circumstances, he is born through a surrogate after being left near a river. He is raised not by his natural mother but a host of mothers, but later he is a part of his biological family. Kartikeya symbolizes a union of polarities. He is handsome warrior and described as a celibate yogi. He uses his creative martial abilities to lead an army against Taraka and other demons, and described as a philosopher warrior. He is a uniter, championing the attributes of both Shaivism and Vaishnavism. His theology is most developed in the Tamil texts, and in the Shaiva Siddhanta tradition. He is described as Devam, abstract neuter divinity, Nirguna Brahman, as Kadaval, divinity in nature, in everything, as Devan, masculine deity, and as Irivarivam, concrete manifestation of the sacred, Saguna Brahman, according to Fred Clothy, as Murugan, also referred to as Murugan, Chayan, he embodies the cultural and religious whole that comprises South Indian Shaivism. He is the philosopher and exponent of Shaiva Siddhanta theology, as well as the patron deity of the Tamil language. Worship Within India South India Kartikeya is a major deity among the Hindus of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Tamil Naduhe is considered the god of Tamil language and he is mentioned a lot in Tamil Sangam literature. The six abodes of Murugan are all in Tamil Nadu. Each of these temples has a unique history and different reason to worship Lord Murugan. Thiruparamkanram Murugan Temple he is worshipped as he Lord Kartikeya worshipped Lord Shiva. As per tradition, devotes who go to the six abodes of Murugan tonsure their head in imitation of Palani deity. Thai Pusam during January to February month is celebrated as a six-day festival. On Thai Pusam Day, Kavadis and Palkudams are taken by devotees in procession around Chedanagar. Special Abhishekams are performed to the Mulavar and Utsava. Anadanam is provided to all devotees participating in the functions. In the night, Lord Muruga is taken in procession accompanied by Nadaswaram, Veda Parayanam around Chedanagar. Vaikasi Visukam Day, during May to June month, Kavadis and Palkudams are taken by devotees in procession around Chedanagar. Skanda Sashti during October to November month is celebrated as a six day festival. Spiritual discourses by learned scholars and or music concerts by popular artists from South or from Mumbai are organized. Beyond India <inaudible> Malaysia Kartikeya is revered by the Hindus in Malaysia and other Southeast Asian countries such as Singapore and Indonesia. 
Taipusam is one of the important festivals celebrated. Sri Subramanya Temple at Batu Caves Temple Complex in Malaysia is dedicated to Kartikeya. There are some other temples in Malaysia such as Kalamalai Temple in Ipoh, Aral Magu Balathande Uthapani Temple, Penang, Sanyasi Andava Temple in Cheng, Malacca. Sri Lanka Kartikeya is worshipped by the Sinhalese as Kataragama Devio, also by Sri Lankan Tamils as Maruhan, a guardian deity of Sri Lanka. Numerous temples exist throughout the island. He is a favourite deity of the common folk everywhere and it is said he never hesitates to come to the aid of a devotee when called upon. In the deeply Sinhalese south of Sri Lanka, he is worshipped at the Kataragama Temple, where he is known as Kathiraval or Kataragama Devio. Local legend holds that Murugan alighted in Kataragama and was smitten by Vali, one of the local girls. After a courtship, they were married. This event is taken to signify that Murugan is accessible to all who worship and love him, regardless of their birth or heritage. The Nalur Kandaswami Temple, the Mavidapuram Kandaswami Temple and the Sela Chanathi Temple near Valveta Turai are the three foremost Murugan temples in Jaffna. The Chitravalayatha Temple in Verakal on the border between Trinkamale and Batakaloa is also noteworthy as is the Manda Kandaswami Temple in Batakaloa. The late medieval era temple of the tooth in Kandy, dedicated to the tooth relic of the Buddha, has a Kataragama Jo shrine adjacent to it dedicated to the veneration of Skanda in the Sinhalese tradition. Almost all Buddhist temples house a shrine room for Kataragama Devio reflecting the significance of Murugan in Sinhala Buddhism. By the 16th century, the Kataragama temple had become synonymous with Skanda Kamara who was a guardian deity of Sinhala Buddhism. The town was popular as a place of pilgrimage for Hindus from India and Sri Lanka by the 15th century. The popularity of the deity at the Kataragama temple was also recorded by the Pali chronicles of Thailand such as Jinkal Mali in the 16th century. There are a number of legends both Buddhist and Hindu that attribute supernatural events to the very locality. Scholars such as Paul Younger and Heinz Beckett speculate that rituals practiced by the native priests of Kataragama Temple betray Veda ideals of propitiation. Hence they believe the area was of Veda veneration that was taken over by the Buddhist and Hindus in the medieval period. Topic Temples. This is not an exhaustive list. Topic Within India. Topic South India. Topic Tamil Nadu Palani Murugan Temple Swami Malai Murugan Temple Thiruchendur Murugan Temple Thiruparamkanram Murugan Temple Thiruthani Murugan Temple Paramudirholai Murugan Temple The above six temples are dedicated to Kartikeya as their primary deity. These six temples in Tamil Nadu, together are referred to as Arupadivedu, Tamil, Arupativitu, that are mentioned in Thirumurugatrupadai, written by Nakira and in Thirupugal, written by Arangiranatha. Kerala There are many temples dedicated to Subramanya in Kerala such as Atiyambur Sri Subramanya Temple in Kanhungad Kasaragod Subramanya Swami Temple in Payanur Panmana Subramanya Swami Temple in Panmana Harapad Sri Subramanya Swami Temple 
Topic: <laughs> Andhra Pradesh. Kothur, Kanal district. Skandagiri, Secunderabad. Bikavolu. Mopadevi. Malam. Topic: <laughs> Karnataka. Kuka Subramanya Temple Kartikeya is worshipped as Subramanya where he is regarded as Lord of the Serpents. <laughs> North India Delhi <laughs> 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 Malai Mandir, a prominent temple complex. Topic <laughs> Haryana. Pehawa Temple in Haryana. Topic <laughs> <laughs> Punjab. Akaleshwar Temple in Gurdaspur. Topic Chandigarh Sri Kartikeya Swami Temple Topic Himachal Pradesh Kartik Swami Temple in Manali Topic Uttarakhand Kartik Swami Temple above Rudraprayag. Topic <inaudible> Madhya Pradesh. Kartikeya Mandir, Gwalior. It opens only once a day in a year. Topic <inaudible> Gujarat. Sri Balamurugan Devasthanam in Ahmedabad. Topic Maharashtra Kartik Swami Thirumal Murugan Temple Thiruchembur Murugan Temple, Chembur, Mumbai Topic West Bengal Sri Ganesh and Murugan Temples in Kolkata Topic Outside India Topic Sri Lanka Kataragama Kadirgamam in the south, Temple in Tirukoval in the east, Shrine in Mbeka in Kandy, Nalur Kandaswami Temple in Jaffna. Topic Malaysia Batu Caves near Kuala Lumpur which has a 42.7 m high statue of Murugan at the entrance, the largest Lord Murugan statue in the world. Aralmagu Balathandayuthapani Temple, Penang Natukottai Chetia Temple, Penang Sri Marathandava Bala Dandayuthapani Alayam Sri Kandaswami Koval, Brickfields Sanasimalai Temple in Malacca Kalamalai Temple in Ipo Topic Indonesia Langkat Indonesia which has 16 meter high and standing outside of its temple named as Sri Raja Rajeshwari Aman Koval Temple It has second largest Murugan statue in the world Topic Singapore Sri Thendayuthapani Temple in Singapore is a major Hindu temple. Aralmagu Velmurugan Nana Muniswaran Temple, 50 Rivervale Crescent Senkang, Singapore. Sri Holy Tree Balasubramaniam Temple. Sri Murugan Hill Temple, 931 Upper Bukit Timar Road. Topic USA 
Shiva Murugan Temple in Concord, Northern California Murugan Temple of North America in Maryland, Washington, D.C. Carolina Murugan Temple planned in Chatham County, North Carolina. To include the tallest statue of Lord Murugan in the world. Canada Kanthasami Temple in Toronto, Ontario, Canada Murugan Temple in Valmoran, a suburb of the city of Montreal United Kingdom Highgate Hill Murugan Temple in London Sri Murugan Temple in Manor Park, London Sri Shiva Murugan Temple in Leicester is a popular temple. Skanda Vale in Carmarthenshire, Wales is an ashram and place of pilgrimage. Australia Murugan Temple in Parramatta Mays Hill. Perth Bala Muruguan Temple in Mandagalip Kundrathu Kumaran Temple in Rockbank, Melbourne New Zealand Thirumurugan Temple in Auckland Kurunji Kumaran Temple in Wellington Switzerland Sri Sivasubramania Temple, located in the Seal Valley in Adlerswil is the largest Hindu temple in Switzerland. <laughs> South Africa Clarewood Sri Shiva Subramania Temple <laughs> Fiji Shri Shiva Subramania Temple equals equals notes <laughs>